and a brand new app called Freeform coming later this year. Hey, what's up? In today's video, I would like to show you what Freeform is, what it can do, and why it's so cool. I've been using and playing with this app for almost a week now. Let me tell you this. I really like the app. I think this might be the best note-taking app. At least for me. I use this app for planning my YouTube videos and organizing my upcoming trip to Mexico. The great thing about this app is that you can write, draw, attach pictures, and even website links. I can put all the information together in the app. Well, actually, this app hasn't been officially released yet. I will tell you how to access this app later in this video. First, let's talk about Freeform and everything that you can do with it because this app is really useful and might be the best note-taking app. Without further ado, let's dive in. As you can see, this is my iPad Mini 6. So, let's open the app. This seems kinda familiar interface. It's a bummer but the color choice is only white. To start a note, you gotta tap the note icon on the top. This is an open canvas note app like OneNote from Microsoft. Let's go take a look at this first. Top left. Tap that. You see. Rename duplicate. Favorite. Find. Hide grid. Export as PDF. And print. Let me change the name. Next, this pencil icon. This is Apple Pencil Kit that pops up down here. Then you can write and draw. The next one is Notepad. Tap that. You can add an actual notepad here. You can resize it. You can write on it. Tap that. You can duplicate it. Let me drag it to this side. You can change the color too. How about blue? And double tap and enter text. Next, in this one, you have the ability to add shapes. Let me try this shape. Same thing, you can write on it. Let's take a look at what we have. Oh, I found a pig. Make it bigger and move him right here. Maybe this pig wanna eat tacos. Let's find a taco. Okay, found it. Yeah, there are a lot of options here. Nice. Next, tap that. You can add text. Make it bigger. Double tap to enter text. You can change the color and even fonts. The last one is that you can add pictures. You can simply choose any pictures to add here. Like this. But also you can do this too. Long press the subject and drag it to this page. Have you watched my previous video? In the video, you can learn lots of cool iOS 16 tips and tricks. I put the link down below, so make sure to watch the video. And you can add links as well. So, beta.apple.com. This is the link. You can get the iOS 16.2 beta. Let's click that. Oh, maybe double tap. Alright, so it's like this. To be honest, I have been using OneNote from Microsoft and another app called Muse, but I will be happy to switch to using this app because I feel this app is pretty good. FaceTime feature isn't ready for now but it will be available sometime soon. And Apple claims you can share and collaborate with multiple people at the same time. If you seamlessly collaborate and share the app with your iPhone, you gotta go into settings, iCloud, show all, then scroll down to find Freeform. 
make sure to turn it on. So, I just wanted to show you a quick rundown of what Freeform can do. It's kinda Apple Notes but way more useful. Like I said, this is the perfect app for planning my YouTube videos and organizing the travel plans. What do you think about this app? Would you ditch OneNote and switch to this app like me? Let me know in the comments down below. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.